Hello everybody and welcome back to another playing commentary of Psychopath Season 2 Episode 8 as per usual of the outro. If you wish to skip to that. Yeah. Um I have a lot of bad things to say about I I feel like I'm repeating myself. Perhaps I should say something new. At least the music's decent. <laughs> that sounds so condescending. No, but honestly, I do still enjoy the series, despite it kind of shitting on the previous season quite a bit. I mean, yeah, sure, like, it's undoubtable that the first season had a lot more subtlety and a lot more nuanced social commentary. I doubt that, I doubt that anyone would argue that. But this season isn't completely without its merits, in my opinion, so... I just hope for the best for the rest of the series, uh, rest of the season. So, without further ado, we shall begin with the show proper. たった一色。百八十四名の遺体を使った結合手術。飛行機事故の。うう。彼らの遺体は切り刻まれ、一人の少年へと移植された。うん。それが勘ぐいか。That is... sounds surprisingly close to the civil system, to be honest. An amalgamation of many people, though the civil system it has surprisingly far more people, but to create something like that from just surgery is just unprecedented. Well, this is the one of the things that I do like. This is actually rather interesting. So. <laughs> もう一度同じことをやれと言われても無理だろう。しかし、彼は生きた。サイコパスを一切測定されない存在だ。あ、さねエクジスタンス。彼は機械の認識上は繋ぎ合わされた死体に過ぎない。That or rather, like, that kind of does make sense, considering that he is a walking corpse, kind of. Or an amalgamation of a lot of different people. So I suppose his biosignature is kind of messed up. I would imagine them being still able to pick it up. I wouldn't be surprised if he had, like, multiple readings, though. Well, we don't know how the system works, so... And yes, I still have to keep skip the opening. Open a what the jitendeva. Mother Kareva scanner in Nishki's had a roof soon on Ning and Data. Oh, okay. Huh. That also explains why he was so willing to give up his eye. Kareva Jibun no Toku is a Ojika Christanova. Nishijo Sekas and Okuler Yoni not the Karada Soda.移植した部位が成着していけば行くほど、スキャナーに認識される頻度が減っていった。そうして時間が経ち、やがて僕は社会から切り離された透明人間となった。オッケー。初めのうちは努力もした。わざと人目につく犯罪を起こし、裁かれ
かつてシビラシステムに代わる国民支援制度が経済省から発案され議論を呼んだ、oh. それは交通と銀行を完成しそのすべてを把握するパノプティコンと呼ばれるシステムだった OK かつてジェレミー・ベンソムが収容所の建築形態として構築した全自称展望監視システムの名称だ市民の行動と経済活動を監視記録することで犯罪を未然に防ぎ最適な生き方を導く至極単純で理想的な提案ともいえ That's actually an interesting idea now like wouldn't it be possible for the civil system to be implementing other systems that could be more useful to track certain situations such as the economical transactions like there are some things that could be easily tracked by machines that don't require exact human input Well, this is an interesting possibility, I suppose. I mean, there is a distant possibility of a season three, so. The sort of thing. All the people who are being watched are the citizens of the country. Now, the society is different. Let's go back to the story. The science is being used in the scientific field. Do you remember the fact that the Panopticon has been affected by a lot of events? Oh? Yes. それが原因となりパノプティコンの採用は見送られたそうそうしてシビラによる統治は今に至るまで続くこととなったもしそれが何者かにより導かれた結論でそれを得るために全てが仕組まれていたとしたらそいつは当時も散々流れた陰謀論だ何が陰謀論なものか経済省への横やりや人材の操作と流出予算の奪い合い政治家同士の取引I mean, uh, that kind of political maneuvering is rather usual, so. Oh, could that have been the reason why he was killed? その彼との再会は。Oh, that is actually a rather interesting like, like, huh? I mean, this is still kind of retreading the same ground as the you previous like the fact that people would arrange that these kinds of uh, situations where they would present an optional system and then purposefully create it with a flaw to exploit and show why. The civil system is the best option. I mean, that would inspire loyalty and trust. I mean, yeah, sure, the civil system has been explored like that earlier, so it's not a, nothing new. But that is an interesting take on that, at the very least, that it would purposefully create fake scenes like that. <laughs> Oh. 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 それ自体が過去への復讐になり得るな。単なる復讐にとどまらない。Revenge? Why would that be revenge? Like, if he could spread that information to the civil system, wouldn't that be like a magnificent, like, increase in the lifestyle of everyone just to alleviate everyone's stress? I suppose he is antagonistic after all, so. I mean, he will want to make it burn, make the system burn, so. Hmm. Yeah, it is quite creepy. <laughs> okay, Uchiko. 
いたカムイのホロの一人カムイがここに来た下月監視官は引き続き医療機関を当たってみると連絡を受けましたわかりましたそういうことならまずは今いるメンバーで現状報告をでは私から自己被害者と同姓同名の人物を探してみたところ都心部だけで54人が該当しましたその54人はい,いえカムイ本人を除く自己被害者184人分の外見は全て彼のまとうホロと見て間違いないでしょうはい公安に出入りしていたセラピストもメンタルケア施設にいた薬剤師も最初の事件の人質女性も全てカムイだったということで,でも、ね、カムイは事故の被害者のホロしか使わないのかもええ私もそう思うカムイは事故とそれにより植え付けられた184人に固執しているその意味でカムイの顔は割れたと言っていいギノザさんの方はカムイの考えが逃げ出た臓器から入れ替わりの可能性がある人物を割り出した揃いも揃って各界の大物ばかりだ社会への大物が強い人物別人にすり替えていたのはマスダ It is quite interesting to see that they, they like カムイ has well Quite a bit just infiltrated all of society. Ooh, spooky. That could be a rather dystopian future sit situation, I suppose. I just got a freaking great idea for a Shadowrun campaign. Okay. <laughs> それだけのことを繰り返しながらサイコパスをクリアに保てると、hmm. それがカムイの得意性薬物調合とカウンセリングで重篤な潜在犯でさえサイコパスをクリアにしてしまえる洗脳と言っていいレベルで So he just brainwashes them、okay. 厄介だな同時に彼の攻撃対象は医療関係に限定されている覚えていますか爆弾犯の北沢の犯行声明医薬品会社を狙ったって言ってたそして建物が起きた現場はメンタル医療施設だった妙なのは港を隠れるにしていた点ですね何かメリットがあったはず港のメリット国さん I mean, an easy escape would be reasonable to assume 記録にはないと思いますがそれ変人は減ってないとおかしいのにそうね内臓を抜き取られて殺された人がいるなら移植される前の人物は消えていないとおかしい確かに消えたことが認識されない人物となると待てよ確か、えー、国内の新聞や紙幣が残されていたなそうか密入国者なりすましているのは密入国者ということですか<笑>イリーガルエイその可能性もあります I mean, そうまでしてイリーガルエイリアンスってそんスクワルビッチ I would say that's a bit racist, but that's like. That is an interesting. I was wondering whether there's any like way to bring the other, other nations, other countries, and just the world outside of Japan, like in the show. And then that's an actually rather clever way to bring it now, isn't it? Well. なんの用だこんなところでアブラ撃ってていいのか暇を持て余して会いに来たわけじゃありません以前からあなたには興味がありました受験黒く染めた講師才が上智うれしくないね他社のサイコパスを操る能力そんなものがただの技術であるはずが
そしてそれゆえにどんなに自分が干渉してもサイコパスが変化しない常森監視官に依存しているフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフあなたは綺麗すぎる。あ<笑>あ、uh,。I mean, those are rather obvious. That's rather obvious. i n d u c t e d u c t i o n 第一の事件で北沢が爆弾を仕掛けた新型ラクーゼの生成技術。ラクーそして、立てこもり事件の起こったメンタルケア施設で扱っていた数種類の薬品の閲覧履歴も残されて。はあ。That, the, that, that factory that produced l a c u s e s and c o m e or that, like, where this, this season even began, like, those advertisements for that mental dro healthcare drug, like, this, that haven't, hasn't come into play that much, even, which is rather surprising. But I suppose it could be used as an explanation why k a m u i has been able to get his hands on drugs, I suppose. I mean, that's probably the only use they have for it. トーガネ財団に復讐しようとしている航空機事故の手術でトーガネ財団が保有していた特許技術が使用されている脳を生きたまま摘出する技術摘出した脳をつなぎ合わせる技術なぜこんな技術を保有していたのカム項目はドローンによる全自動での脳の摘出人間を必要としない手術の提案何これ特許出願者の名前トーガネサクヤの母親5年前に死んでいる父親はウィンソチあいつの出生にも特許技術が絡んでるってことああ、oh, That's interesting。のサイコパスが濁っちゃう。どうしたら<笑>そうか。そうだ。ダンディドフトゥーズでしたね。トゥーノー、ほら、オーケー。すり替えられた人間をしらみつぶしに当たるつもりだったけど。仕方がないとはいえ、ごてごてですね。That kind of technology to remove the brain, like, wouldn't that, like, I wonder how deeply that they started to the Sybil system itself. Would make sense that they would have been using that, that technology to create the Sybil system. Considering that it's just a huge collection. Just a huge collection of brains in jars. Alarm. 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 Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not カムイの真理と重なるには、奴の見た景色を保持しておくのは一番。図星ですか。さすがですね。さすが。感服しますよ。あなたは生まれながらのデカだ。<笑>ありがとうございます。可愛げが足りないという意味です。あ。お<笑><笑> How friendly you two are。おばあちゃん。死亡した201名の乗員乗客のうち184名が児童という悲惨な事故を利用して莫大な利益を享受した者たちがいた。そしてこの時の唯一の生き残りがカムイ・キリトである
当時財団を仕切っていた東金美佐子は WA という特異体質の研究に就寝しておりその実証実験の一つが脳を摘出しつなぎ合わせるという財団が持つ特許技術を最新の環境で試すことだった彼女はカムイや自己犠牲者たちの遺体を使い自らの研究を推し進め結果財団が持つ特許技術はさらなる進化をたどるああ、oh, well, that is a pretty good explanation why they why why they gained a lot from that I suppose fresh corpses are useful in medical situations. Kamu i Kirito no hanko mo te yo, so shita togane zaidan e no hoofuku de aru. Zaidan o marks. Are we gonna have a death scene soon? Kamu i Kaiho ni chikazukeru. Shikashi genzai no ichi gakari wa jiudai na mondai o kakaete iru. Sore wa Tsunemori Akane to togane Sakuya no sonzai da. Togane Sakuya wa WA を人工的に作り出そうとした東金美佐子の実験によって生み出されたそれが史上最悪の犯罪係数を持つに至った経緯と推測されるつまり事件の首謀者であるカムイと東金咲也は WA というキーワードでつながっていることになるカムイキリトと東金咲也は等しく危険である東金咲也は他人の犯罪係数を上げることに喜びを覚える異常者だ現に今まで彼の担当となった監視官5名全員が潜在犯化しているという実例がある。東金昨夜の影響により、常森監視官は、OK、犯罪件数が上がると予想される。しかし、常森監視官本人は意にも介さず。Because he is just not. Like, Tunamura is pretty much immune to that. That would be rather. How does it. Huh. I wonder why they keep that kind of enforcer around if that kind of thing is, well, rather evident. Yeah, well. Koreo yu yu shiki jitai ka. Tsunemori kanshi kan wa sude ni onore no handan miss ni yori tatsu no kanshi kan oyobi shikkou kan wo gisei ni shite iru. Kono mama dewa Kamui no taiho ya Tougane Sakuya no haiju wa oro ka kouan kyuk sonzoku no kiki ni mo tsunagari kane nai. Yue ni watashi wa But Tsunamori hasn't done anything wrong, right? Like, she... I mean... Um... But that that junior detective or that young junior, she just annoys me because she's just so uh, she's just honestly rather annoying with her well stupidity. Like the fact that she doesn't see how useful Tsunamori can be, and her special affluence and the ability to take advantage of some of the latent criminals who have the tendency to spread clouded psychopaths. Like, the immunity to that is extremely useful and she doesn't see it. It's honestly just astounding how she can be so, so irritating and full. ...すりかえられた人物たちの自宅、別宅は全て当たりましたが、誰一人痕跡をつかめませんでした。この彼らを目的に向けて動き始める。何としても止めなければ。まるで相手の狙いを把握しているかのような物言いだな。マスザキを信じるならカムイの目的は革命だ。社会を転覆するため、その社会を体現する存在を裁く。そんな存在は一つし
さて捜査から逸脱してこのようなデータの収集に勤しんだ君の勝利どうすべきか、oh. Her downfall is her... まだこの程度の悪化でとどまっていられるとは<笑>彼女はまだ使えます私に任せていただけませんか母さん<笑>母さん<笑><笑> OK にしていいわ処分はいつでもできるしやはり問題なのはスネムイとカムイのことなら心配ありません二人とも私が仕留めてみせますチョナモレダウン母さんとシビラを美しく清らかにするのは私の役目です何何の話をしてるのやめて聞きたくない This... 賢明な判断ねあなたはやはり理想的な市民だわ退屈なほどにこの犯人いずれシステムを公開する時のモデルケースになるかもしれませんそうね試してみましょうかでは下月監視官あなたに世界の秘密を教えてあげる Oh Oh Oh, no, bother. Okay. Is there any ending scene? No, okay. Very well. That does create an interesting. I'm gonna talk about that. So that creates a rather interesting thing that I hadn't thought, thought about that the series and the setting in just in general has a potential for and I think I will actually indoctrinate this into my Shadowrun campaign at some point which is kind of the same similar situation the <clears throat> a rather psychological horror that is very natural comes in comes naturally to the call of Cthulhu mythos. Just in general, Lovecraftian mythos in general has the psychological horror nature of knowledge being more dangerous than not knowing. And this is actually a rather similar situation and I do like how this is presented. Not because it will drive you insane just directly, but because knowing it makes you a problem. That is a rather interesting situation, and that is a perspective that I kind of want to take advantage of at some point. It's not that you will be driven insane by the knowledge, but rather that you are a risk to society because of the knowledge. That is a really, really quite an interesting possibility. Though that the knowledge that you are a risk, and the fact that you know that you are a risk because of the knowledge, will drive you insane, but, or might. It is an interesting perspective I haven't thought about. I'm, I need to think about this a bit more, but not right now. Right now it's time to talk about this episode, and I have a lot to say about this episode, but I'll keep it rather brief. In short, I actually do like it. It reveals quite a few things, but before I go on to the positive things about the show, or the episode, I'll go over the negatives. Well, I don't like how the civil system, I really don't like how the civil system and Togane? Anyway, he, how they were both, shall we say, demonized in the ending. Because it's not that they are completely evil. I wouldn't say that the civil system in itself is inherently evil. Sure, it is rather authoritarian, <laughs> That's rather obvious. It is rather authoritarian. Very, very authoritarian. And it is very restrictive. But it does provide quite a few things that uh, that our world does not. And those are certainty and protection. Though that does enforce again the idea of a dangerous and forbidden knowledge. But, you know. Those could be evaded with intelligence. 
as we have seen actually. Or if you're a different case, I suppose. I don't like that kind of demonization just in general, and I don't like that the younger, <coughs> that the young inspector is so honestly just negative about Tuna Marie considering well, what I said. She presents a unique possibility that the normal majority of the humans, even the criminally asymptomatic humans, cannot provide. And that is an interesting possibility that she is clearly blind to. Oh well, that's the one character I have complaints about. And sure about the presentation. And the story is very derivative of the previous season. It hits again a lot of the same notes as the previous season. But what I do like are some of the interesting possibilities here. Not only Kamui's existence and why why he is and what like that he's an amalgamation of people like that and it's that's just in general very interesting and i like that i like the reasoning behind it though i i don't know it feels off but i am happy with it it's an odd situation i feel like there was something else that could have been done that perhaps would have been far more interesting but I don't know what, and I'm not disappointed in the current situation at all. Um, I do think that there's still quite a bit of potential left for Kamui, though he's honestly, he ear, is eerily similar to the previous season's antagonist. And that is regrettable. But the show also provides these kinds of interesting possibilities and interesting kind of... Examples of authoritarian or shall we say oppressive rules taken rather far or benevolent dictatorships Even shall we say like let's think about like if you had a The similar kind of situation with the civil system that they were running experiments and those experiments were like purposefully made to fail so that the civil system would look better that could be interpreted as a very huge fraud for the citizens, although it was ma it would be made for the to keep, <laughs> gain their trust. Still, that is technically speaking completely just lying to them. But um, apples and oranges. There's a lot of promise still here, so mm, I don't know. But this just. <sighs> There are good things about this, and I loved that kind of explanation with the doctor and that kind of flashback sequence. That was good. Like, this episode does have a lot of good points to it, so, yeah. I mean, it is regrettable that they do not have any... Yet, they don't have... They don't yet have that many other... They have brought up points that are different from the previous season, but they have not explored those topics. Which I find to be regrettable, considering how huge of an opportunity there was to explore the advan advantages and disadvantages of complete authoritarian rule. A regime of suppression of knowledge... Which could be interesting to see an exploration of, but I suppose this season won't dwell in that. Or delve into that kind of information, considering that it's not in that to go in that direction. Uh, yet I hold hope for the third season that could be exploring these kinds of ideals. And, th like, this setting, just in general, has a lot of potential. The civil system itself is a system that provides a lot of opportunities for interesting explorations of the human condition but i don't feel like this season has really fulfilled it at all yet to be honest but it has been entertaining nonetheless it has been an interesting character study in certain aspects for sure and it has some interesting characters and the more antagonistic side of things are actually still quite interesting and even the inter the <coughs> The connections and uh, similarities between some of the antagonists and uh, between the, some of the protagonist side and the antagonist are fairly interesting. Pros and cons. I still enjoy it, and this episode was, in my opinion, really quite well paced. I had just it just 
flew by. So, yeah, I still like it, so it's not incredible, but it is enjoyable. So, I thank you all very much for watching, I hope to see you all in the future, have a great day, and stay awesome. Gunmo, out. Thank you for watching.